creating a homepage and publishing site. In this video, we'll take a little bit of everything we've learned so far and create a homepage. This homepage will give any potential employers their first impression of you and help them to decide whether they want to continue on to the rest of your site. The portfolio template that we chose in the first video already has a sample homepage that you can easily fill with your own information or change to suit any vision you may have. We'll begin by clicking on the title text and replacing the words in brackets with your own information. Our title text now reads, Hi, I'm Janine Wood, a carpenter from Ottawa. Next, we will replace the current photo with one of our own. We're going to click on Upload Image and navigate to our folder with the photo set aside for the portfolio. Double click on the image you'd like to use and it should appear in place of the previous photo. This banner will be the first impression people will get of you and your page. So, we recommend including a large, high quality photo, either a professional photo of yourself or something else that will set the tone for who you are and what you do. From here, scroll down. The next section is already titled Selected Work and contains six gray placeholder boxes with buttons to upload media. This is where you can begin to get quite creative. You can use this, as intended, to preview some of your projects and link to the project section of your portfolio. Or you can preview the sections of your portfolio, as we will do here. We changed the section title to Get to Know Me and deleted one placeholder box. Title each box after a section of the site. Add media to the placeholders that showcase each individual section by clicking the button on the box. If the button doesn't correspond with the type of media you'd like to include, select just the placeholder and click the gear icon. Here you can set the file type to virtually anything, or to any content to cover all your bases. Continue to add media to all the placeholders. Once you've done this, click Insert Link and link to each corresponding page. Finally, at the bottom of the page is a call to action with a place to add your email address. Fill in your email address and change the background to style 3 to make it stand out from the rest of the page. We're also going to insert a link on this section to open an email window, so that the call to action will actually lead the viewer somewhere instead of being a dead end. Highlight your email address and click Insert Link in the formatting bar. Congratulations! you finished your portfolio page. The last steps in the process are to preview your page and then publish it for the world to see. There's a preview button in the very top menu bar on the page. When you click this, it will show you what your web page will look like to the general public. This gives you the chance to review your formatting to make sure everything is consistent. Click all your links to see if they work, as well as check for any errors with spelling and grammar. This preview will give you a final opportunity to play around with the design and layout of your portfolio to make sure that everything is up to your standard and can be the best presentation of yourself as possible. Once you're satisfied with your portfolio, it's time to publish. In the same upper menu bar, click the Publish button. A window will appear where you can edit what the web address will be once your site is live. By default, it will usually be your name, as that is likely what you've titled your portfolio. We recommend keeping it like this, as it comes across as very professional, and it will make you easier to find when potential employers search for your site. If you've purchased a custom domain name, you can manage that here. You are also able to manage who can view your site by clicking Manage, and either sharing it directly via email to certain people, or creating a private link. You can also request that public search engines do not display your site by clicking the checkbox. When you're ready, click Publish. Now that you've published your site, this drop-down arrow appears beside the Publish button. This gives you the option to view your Publish settings in case you want to make any changes to your domain name or search settings. Review Changes in Publish, which tracks all the changes that have been made since your last publishing, to better keep track of what has been done. You will need to review changes and click Publish again anytime you want to update your site. View Publish Site to see what any site viewers see and unpublish to take your site down. Add the newly published link onto your resume, your LinkedIn profile, or anywhere else it could be accessed by potential employers. Remember to update your portfolio frequently as you gain new experience and complete new projects.